Hello, hello, it's Emma with Polly's Paper Crafts and I am bringing you something brand new. Um, I've teamed up with Claudia, who is Claudia Van R here on YouTube, and we are going to be doing a new series together called Sketch It Out. So we'd both been thinking recently, um, or it turns out we'd both been thinking recently, um, about possibly using a sketch to do a layout. Now, I haven't used sketches since I was about 16. It was when I first started scrapbooking. I didn't really know what to do, and a sketch was a really good jumping-off point for me. Um, but since then, I've just kind of done my own thing, and I like the way that works, you know. I, it works for me. But I thought it would be a different kind of challenge to use a sketch, and luckily for us <laughs> um claudia felt the same way so we have teamed up to collaborate and do a series for you called sketch it out now i chose the first sketch which you can see on the screen and it is from chamel.com and i decided um for the first one uh, i wanted to keep it pretty simple so there is layers there's a, there's you know three sort of embellishment clusters, journaling title, the the basics really, um, and thought keeping it simple like that would leave both Claudia and I some uh, space for interpretation, let's say. So for example, I'm not going to use uh, stars for the uh, embellishment clusters, I'm going to use hearts, um, and all the things that I'm using today are from the Like Forever kit, from the Pink Fresh Happy Things collection. And I'm scrapping a photo of me when I went to feed the penguins. And mostly here, I mean, I've started off on a white, white background, um, but all the papers I'm using here are actually all scraps. I have one piece of 12 by 12 paper left. Uh, which is all right because I think the new kit comes out next week. <laughs> um, so yeah, one piece of twelve by twelve paper left, and this is using all my offcuts and the scraps and everything else. Um, and in the end, I'm really happy with the way this this layout looks. But as I was going, I was thinking, oh, I'm not too sure. I f actually found it a lot more difficult than I thought I would. Um, given the fact that it's all pretty much done for you, you just have to choose your papers and stick it down. I found it quite challenging, um, which surprised me a little bit. But I kept going, and I do like the end result, so that's a that's a good thing. So I'm just layering up my papers according to the sketch, and I've just got my phone there off to the side, and I just keep um, referring to it. And so I've got my layers down, and I'm now thinking about... Um, embellishment clusters. I did think about adding an extra little layer, um, a little strip, but it, it didn't work, so I took it away. Um, so the title goes along that uh, horizontal strip, and I'm using uh, the Pink Fresh Happy Things foam glitter word stickers, and I wanted um, So Sweet. So there we go, I'm just referring to my sketch there on my phone just to see where the title goes. Uh, so I stick the sweet down and then the so. Now the so I had to make because on a previous layout I'd cut the S off um, a word. I can't remember what it was. I, don't, I can't remember what the word was, but I had cut the S off a longer word. Um, and then I cut the O off on because I didn't think I would use on. So yeah, so so sweet. And then here I'm using the Pink Fresh Heart wood veneers to create those um, clusters where the stars are. Um, and I'm just, this bit isn't on the sketch, but I ad-libbed. So I just added a little strip that's cut into a banner just in the top corner. Because it, this uh, this sketch, it gave a lot of white space. Um, which is is fine. I'm I don't mind that at all, but it, I I don't know. I felt like it needed something. Here I realised that I'd stuck my title down and effectively not stuck the whole thing to the paper. So I was just going and putting some double sided tape underneath there. 
Um, so yeah, I found this a really interesting challenge. It was harder than I thought to, to find a sketch that I liked. Um, I think it's really easy to have a look at other people's layouts and find inspiration because all the papers are there, the colours and everything else. Um, to look at just a sketch, I think it's quite difficult sometimes to imagine um, which papers you're going to use or how it's going to look overall. So I did find it quite hard choosing the first sketch. Luckily for me, Claudia is choosing the next one. <laughs> um, so yeah, it was it was interesting. And like I say, once I've finished this layout and I look at it now and I think, you know what, I actually really do like it. But um, it took, took me a while to get going. Um, here I'm fighting with my glossy accents a little bit to stick down that strip and then realise that once I'd unclogged my glossy accents I'd actually put the glossy accents on the side that I wanted to show up and not what I wanted to stick down um, which didn't help me so I cut a new banner I pulled out some uh, thread and used the last of my flares I thought the orange picked up quite well the sort of red and the wood grain tone in the paper and here I'm just adding photo corners just to uh, highlight my photo a little bit and make it stand out. I fight with this bottom one a little bit because I'd already stuck down layers and it wouldn't, it wasn't the sitting straight or, you know. Here I'm just checking where my journaling needs to go. So it needs to go just in that um, space underneath the title. And I write... Uh, for Christmas 2015, Adam and Emma bought me an experience day of going to Birdland in Borton on the Water um, to feed the King and Humboldt penguins. Only one person per day can do it and it was fantastic. There was a baby King penguin who still had his feathers that kept sitting on my feet. So, so cute. And it was a fantastic day. I've got so many photos. Um, and it was it was fantastic. It was brilliant. I love penguins. So it was a perfect, perfect present, really. Um, so, yeah, I think I am almost done. I decided it needed just a little bit of interest or a little bit of something. So I pulled out my picked raspberry distress ink and just um, splattered in a diagonal fashion across the page. Um, and I actually, I, I do think that that helped to, in my eyes, it helped to finish the layout off. So here I'm going to show you my lay the layout and the sketch side by side. I think they look pretty good. Um, I'm going to leave you with some close-ups. And I encourage you to go and check out Claudia's channel to see what she did with this sketch. Um, I think it would, it'll be really interesting to see it from two different points of view. So I'll leave a link on the end card. You can click there and it'll take you across. I'll also leave links in the description bar below. So thanks for watching guys and I hope you'll join us for more of this series. Bye!